Hi everybody, this is Frog Snack, and this is part two of the boarding school challenge announcement. I am here with August Woods. She is brave, excitable, and neat, and she's one of the girls from town. I didn't change much about her. She actually has the same hairstyle, but her hair was a little bit green, so I gave her just a makeover on the color of her hair because it was very unrealistic. I don't mind when adult sims have green hair, but I mind when the blonde you know, the color for a kid is off, like they're running around dyeing their hair. I know this is Starlet Shores, but it doesn't mean that they uh, are completely superficial. Okay, so she is in the blue option, so she's got a lot of blue and silver is what her defaults are set to right now. But I'm going to run through the different options so that you guys can vote. If you want to find me on Twitter, I am Frog Snack there as well. And you can let me know which outfit you like the best. I have a couple votes in already. I'm personally leaning towards the blue, um, which is part of the reason I left it on there, or the pink, just because they have so many options and they're simple enough where there's maybe one pattern and then not, not a lot else going on. So to start back at the beginning, this is the pattern. So this is the um, mauve. And of course, another option for the mauve. So the issue I ran into immediately is that the pattern gets in the way of everything. I don't mind that there's another color in here, but if I go into the main pattern and we were to treat that like the extra set of colors for the school, then I have blue and I have mauve and it just becomes a little overall confusing and unnecessarily overwhelming sort of like this. So the blue colors I thought worked really well on this little girl and on another one that um, will be in the challenge because I have four children already chosen. I'm looking for two more and I still have not updated the mansion and of course Mr. Edward Gooder is still very much alive. So um, nothing's happened to set this in motion just yet but these are some of the outfits options that they have. So again here's the mauve. Thank you very much miss. <laughs> Um, and then here's the blue. So she's got the little blue shoes on. And of course I have shoes and all of that that could change for the different options. This is what I like about the blue. You can work in the silver with the pattern. It doesn't have to have a pattern. It can be very simple. Um, it's really easy to change up and to have it look, uh, I don't know if you would call it professional for kids, but just have it look nice and neat and a proper and prim appearance, which is uh, what they're going for. They want to raise children as if they are going to make a difference in life and they respect themselves and their appearance and that's a part of the uniform plan for schools in general. Any, anything that is a private school that has a uniform, it's about being neat, crisp, and clean. And I think the blue and the little pinstripe is just so cute. As a belt, it's just adorable. But if you look at all the options that I found immediately for the blue, you can see why I'm favoring it probably, is that you can do something simple like this. Um, also... This is the option I put with a pink belt, but this light gray, I absolutely love this. And this dress is what's convincing me that the pink might be just perfect. It was okay on the boys too. I thought it came out nicely because we can play around with gray. And the gray then can be more mature and can be more masculine. So I'm kind of getting hung up on either option. But in between here, here's some other choices for the... Uh, again, this is with a pinstripe, which originally I wasn't putting together with the plaid, but I don't mind the pink plaid with it. It's not bad. This is the green undertone from the plaid. So again, you can go darker, you can go to the light silver. And that's really what I loved about it. And this this gray color, is it just reminds me of, uh, of a school color. So uh, it wouldn't look too bad on the walls either, the dark green or the silver. Uh, this is another mauve option, which is, it's okay. It kind of comes off looking like a smock or a Sunday dress. Not as organized or as neat and I'm not sure what it is about that color maybe that it's middle ground and doesn't have a statement of like darker light I'm not sure um here is the crazy yellow and black this is really going out on a limb this is the pattern that I chose for the girls of course I can do a pinstripe or something instead if I bop into the fabrics and show you that option and this one I don't mind as much it's just maybe too much contrast right so we hit the other side of the street I think with it and uh, here's with the pinstripe. So again, a little bit more muted on the pinstripe, and that's not bad for an option. It really isn't. And I think I did have that saved. Okay, and it looks like I don't have a lot in the way of plaid either. So, you know, a simple switcheroo is kind of some of the options that we have here. Uh, again, the gray works really nicely. It's easy enough to just add that green for an accent color be too dramatic with the sleeves there so that's the the other option for the pink i didn't have one saved in but that's pretty much what it ends up being um and there's a darker version of the gray which i like as well so 
But yeah, I mean, those are some of the choices for the main dress. And I have an option other than this for the main dress. I'm going to go ahead and wait for that to accept. And that also is an option for all weather gear. And I think actually, hang on, I think it was actually informal. So the girls options, I thought I had more than I did. And I actually really like this. It's a little dressy, but it is supposed to be formal wear. But this is also an option for their outerwear. Um, the skirt is the only downloadable content that I have on here, and that's uh, or custom content or CC if you want to call it that. This is it's called the Twisty. Let's see, it's called the Twisty skirt, and it's from Mod The Sims. So if you have like a little girls in children's, you have to select girls, and there's only a few skirts even on Mod The Sims. It's really hard to find cute skirts for girls. And I say this because the default skirt that comes with the game, oh, I'm sorry, Fashion Twist is what she's wearing. It's a real simple one I tossed a pattern on. But this is what comes with the game, which is just abysmal. So um, there's with the pinstripe, which is what I have for this little outfit here. So again, there is the blue option, which can easily be very mature or more fun if you want it to be more fun. And there's tons of options for blue. So just to knock through them all, here's with black, here's... White and black, which I randomly didn't really like. Uh, again, there's more of this where you can work in the light grays, which are here or here. Um, so just trying to show you sort of all of the options that I've already been playing around with. Run back through those real quick. A little bit of the white trim. So working the white or black in with the gray is easy and almost, you know, simple. This, I really did like the setup with that light gray and the mauve, and I think it works better when you can fit all three colors in. The problem I had with the mauve in general and why I'm leaning away from it now is that it does not uh, it, on a, a garment that can accommodate two colors, it just doesn't work. You have to have three or four, and so it becomes a little bit demanding. And playing around with the pattern, okay, that's kind of cute, you know, but playing around with the pattern, you still only have so many options because you have to use the pattern. The other thing that I think I mentioned is that, well, maybe I didn't mention it yet, is that you have the blue in here, it matches the pattern, but then it becomes really confusing as to what the school color would actually be or what the uniform color actually is. It could go blue or mauve. We could have the girls wear mauve and the boys blue, but it more or less would look like this with most of them just to add interest to the outfits. And I didn't think that was a good enough reason to have them change it up. So again, the blue with the white scarf, the white trim, the little bit of the silver pattern um, or the mauve. And see, so here's the yellow option. This is one case I liked the yellow options. The yellow tends to be a little bit obnoxious, so again, I'm, I think it's my number four. I really am not preferring it at this point. And here's the plaid, which with white was just beautiful. Um, it's really feminine because it's just a light blush pink, or you can go more mature and you can have the dark green and you still have the playoff of the pink. This was a light enough color that I thought the boys wore it very nicely. It wasn't like a blush pink. It wasn't a neon. It wasn't crazy. And with the gray, it's just darling. So I might go with the plaid. I don't know. I'm really stuck between the plaid and the blue right now. So if you guys want to help me out with this decision, and of course... Um, you know, of course, there can be a plaid skirt option, and so it just ends up, you know, you end up with this really cute little outfit by the end of it. So I'm going to leave her in that, because I just I really can't decide. And the gray is just uber adorable, but this is what their former and or outerwear would look like. We have here sleepwear, and sleepwear I just went with this little simple two-piece, because the boys and girls can wear it, and for now it's a great way to showcase what they could wear. So again, the blue and if I use pinstripe and the silver options that there are plenty of. And then going back, we've got the mauve. This didn't come out too badly, but it is awkward again because you've got opposite colors and it just, you know, they do do that to kids sometimes. I guess it's okay, but, and this, I don't know why, this reminds me like a salad plate for pants and it just doesn't, it doesn't sit well with me, probably because all of the colors are sitting smack dab in the middle of, uh, of gradients you know they're not very dark they're not very light and I think it's just you have not not much to play off of and that's where you have to use the blue so I'm going to stop explaining that one it just drives me a little bit nuts it's hard to work with um and then here of course is uh like the Bruce Lee going to bed outfit so <laughs> you've got your black and yellow adding the white in was kind of a nice touch almost too bright um I liked it for certain occasions and not for others and here's my plaid so again plaid with the um 
with the green, plaid with the silver, and or light gray, whatever you want to call it. Plaid had a million options really easily, really quickly. And I mean, I, I don't mind this at all. I don't mind it for the boys or for the girls. So, um, although I think August wears it really nicely. And uh, let's see, I'm gonna go back into athletic. Athletic is another really simple category. I did change your hair for this just to for cute options. So again, um, giving the girls more than one option or giving the boys more than one option. So even if they are going with pink and you can see I was working on it last, um, you know, having maybe a different undershirt or having a different jacket and then we could do plaid on the pants or something like that. So there's other, well, that's not happening, but, <laughs> but that's just not, not going to happen. But there's other options than just the plaid and because it can go dark and has lighter colors in it, um, yeah, it's really a great choice, I think. Here's the mauve again. Mauve didn't do too badly for athletic. You have the gray option. Um, again, a little bit of a little grandpa or, or grandma pattern. So I liked the pattern in the beginning, but I, I don't know. Here is blue with the pinstripe, but that did not work too badly as a vest. Uh, the way this garment works is you can combine it too and have a long sleeve. So one of the girls could wear a long sleeve, you know, and of course the other could have just a mix, which is again, really ideal and very nice. Pardon the green pants. Of course, that wouldn't go with the blue. So that was some of the blue options and... I don't know, you know, or you end up with another pinstripe, and the pinstripe worked in the pants pretty easily, so you have your just simple little vest. Not too difficult to recolor the shoes in this case. So that would be your blue options. Is that all the blue options? Yeah, there's a light gray, so there's that light, that same light gray that made the almost the smock of the main dress there in the beginning. Here is yellow. And yellow's getting too big for its britches. This one's not bad with the vest. Actually, I did really kind of like this one. This is a darker orange that's a part of the yellow. Kind of trippy, not bad. Um, not quite prep school colors. So again, this really is for me right now in between the um, blue and the pink, you know, or the pink plaid and the blue plus silver. So let me know what you think about that. Am I right? Um, the girls are more complicated, I think, to dress in general. Uh, here's our one of our pink plaid options again. Here's with the green. Uh, here's with just the plaid on the bottom. Again, it can go really girly. Uh, this is the blue I thought was cute and the little lines almost remind me of like this kind of a school swimsuit that you might have. And I've never had a school swimsuit be issued, but you know, the swim team, they always match. They always look smart. They have something that um, will make them stand out, but still be like a noticeable color without being too light. I mean, these are very... Um, very girly with the lighter colors, but I love this. It looks very serious, you know, she's ready to win a competition. Uh, and then the yellow, which I played around with the yellow. It's one of the few things that works on a swimsuit. I really don't think it works many other places. And, you know, maybe I'm not switching it up enough or adding enough to it. Um, you know, that's not too bad, but uh, again, it's okay. That's actually kind of serious. I don't mind that with all the black. And there's the white version. And this is the blue again, so... Um, you know, you can switch it up with a pattern or switch it up with the placement of the pattern. Not not too much you can go wrong with on the blue. And what's, what are we missing? The mauve. And so the mauve, again, another place where that pattern actually does work a little bit. I think that's just the default that came with it. Yeah, no, I don't know where that came from. So here with the, the mauve in it. Uh, right, so not too bad. Just, uh, again, still lacking a little bit of contrast. It doesn't look bad on her, but... Um, right, so options. Options, options. And then here's the other outerwear option, which I thought was pretty cute. It's just a little two-piece. I found in the girls' section a tie, and so that wouldn't look too badly with the boys. And I did give her a different hairstyle for outside. So again, another example. I want the little girls and boys to set themselves apart. So that's why I've made more than one variation per uniform because that's how it really is. You might have a summer and a winter uniform. You might have an option for one day, so a gray, and an option for another day. So they're going to look a little bit different even though the colors match, which is part of the reason I think I'm excited for this challenge is you'll get to know the personality of each child by what they wear. Even if what they wear seems, uh, you know, seems like it might be the same thing, it's really not. You know, one child might prefer a darker color, one might prefer a pattern. And, and so that's why I think being versatile is so important I really like the blue for this. I can't even, I wasn't sure at, the, at first, but I, I like this uh, with with the weave there. So, okay, so that's blue and uh, cobalt. 
going back into where are we the mauve and you know messing around with the mauve the mauve needs a little bit of love it's it's okay you know it's it's just hard in here when there's no other break in it you know the sleeves aren't a separate color or something you've just got this tie happening uh, I don't, you know, I don't mind that one too much. So it's outerwear, you know, it can have a little bit of uh, decorum to it without being terrible. I think is that the same gray? Oh, no. So there's the the blue pant. That's not too bad. And again, she would have a different hairstyle for each of these or a different little colored. Uh, I don't think you can call it a do-rag when it's a girl wearing it. <laughs> right? That's the plaid, actually. Let's see. Uh, let's see. There's our yellow. Mm, I think this might have been the other one. Or this was probably it. Uh, let's see. Well, let's switch to yellow on the shirt then, since I'm showing you the yellow topper. <laughs> Whatever we're calling it. But I love the lace. It was cute. It's a little farm girl-esque, but that's what you, you know, you might dress your little girl in to go to prep school. Um, I, I don't know, because I don't have a little girl, and I didn't go to prep school. But I'm assuming, um, you know, anciently, aren't we all... So I'm kind of British, so I'm <laughs> just Britishly assuming this. <laughs> so uh, anyway, really uh, super severe on the black or super, super bright on the yellow. So it's like they almost are three-year-olds or they're 20. I don't know. I can't, I can't decide. But that yellow, this is like she looks like a gnome, <laughs> which is maybe appropriate for this game. It's just, I'm sorry. I'm not having this yellow. I, I loved it at the beginning, but I do not love it now. Even when I make it more serious, it's just too too darn cheery on the other side. It's too obnoxious. Um, this is the pinstripe, so here's another part of the blue option. So there's your blue. Um, versatile again. And where's my favorite? <laughs> That's not quite my favorite, but it's up there. You know, here's the gray. So again, looking very, very prim and proper. It's a color that is you know, nice, but they'd obviously have to keep it clean, and so it's a part of the child learning to have a clean appearance. I'm really, I don't know, I'm leaning towards the plaid, I'm leaning towards the blue, I love the plaid tie, I can't get over it. The plaid I think I liked in everything, the blue in some areas might have worked better than the plaid, but uh, that's, it's really hard to tell, you know, so the outfit that they had for formal instead of every day that maybe worked better with the blue than the plaid so tell me what you think you know scan around in here uh, let's see which one he has there's the plaid yeah there's the plaid hair piece I don't know it's okay it's okay you can always swap it but I kind of liked how it looked what, do I, what am I doing oh that's cute kind of is it is it cute enough uh, well it's not bad <laughs> It's not bad, so, but that, you know, the jacket here is maybe a little obnoxious, and again, you can go dark green with this, so it does not have to be, hang on, lady, what are you doing? It doesn't have to be how it looks right now, you know, you can easily pull those other colors in, and, um, yeah, get a little bit of a more mature look. So, please tell me what you think. Basically, you just have to let me know what your favorite choices are. Choose them, make a comment, and let me know if you think that there's a better idea than what I've come up with. But of the colors, and of those four, well, I've said over and over again the two that I like, so what do you think? Am I wrong? Am I right? Let me know. The boarding school challenge still does not have a start date. I'm working on it among other projects. So if you have any other ideas for projects too, I have a kind of a list going, and I'm welcome to hear any of your ideas. I would love it. So again, go ahead and message me on Twitter or leave a comment down below so that I can get back to you. I'm pretty good about that. At least right now I am, right? So uh, this is Frog Snack, and thank you for watching.